so today I'm going to be creating this teddy bear ear hairstyle for you. I have found it quite difficult in the past to create the teddy bear ear hairstyle using buns and using the knot technique. So I've created my own little technique called the loop technique. I think that this actually makes more of a teddy bear ear kind of look. So I hope you guys enjoy it and have fun playing with this amazingly fun hairstyle. So on to the tutorial. Okay guys, so this is the state of my hair at the moment. It normally gets to like the end of the week and I'm like, oh, my hair needs to go up. I normally resort to either a ballerina bun or a ponytail. And they get a bit boring, so I thought, right, I'm gonna give these teddy bear ears a go. And I did, and it was really time consuming. Ugh, I get it really early and it's just bad enough trying to get it into one nice neat bun, never mind two. Mm. So I have managed to devise a way to make the teddy bear ear look, which is really quick and really easy and not as time consuming as trying to create two perfect buns. Okay, okay. So we're going to start with just sectioning our hair down the middle as if you were going to do pigtails. So there we go. So I've just sectioned my hair there. I'm just going to quickly put this section out of the way for a second. That's a great look. <laughs> and then take my second bobble. All you guys will need for this, by the way, is two bobbles, some hairspray, and a ton of these curvy grips. Okay, okay. So I'm just gonna brush my hair into a, as if I was gonna do a pigtail, but a little bit higher up. So I'm just really brushing that up in there. You really want to go for, say, the centre of the back and the front so you've got like an even amount, well, width at the back and the front. But it doesn't have to be like exact because we are going for more of a relaxed hairstyle. So what you want to do is then make a loop like that and then literally pop your bobble around till it's nice and tight. Now, if you guys have got long hair like mine, don't worry about these bits sticking out the back. You want to make a loop about like that size. We'll deal with these bits later. So grab each side of this loop and just give it a little tug like that. So then what you need to do when you fanned it out is just pull each side back. So it's meeting at the back of the teddy bear ear and then take a curvy grip and just pin that in place. Okay, so that feels a little bit more secure. So that's your basic shape. So now all we're gonna do is pin the teddy bear ear into shape. Okay, so just by grabbing a couple more curvy drips, tuck any remaining strands of hair that you might have underneath the bun. So at the back, it pretty much looks like the front, to be honest, so I won't spin around just yet. So just really pulling that down and into place. And then just pop a couple, as many pins in really as you need to make it feel secure. Okay, so there is my first ear. <laughs> so we're gonna do exactly the same with the other side. Just again, brushing that hair into a ponytail. Now, I found out something really interesting about Kirby grips the other day. I have always applied them so that they are the flat side facing down. And someone actually said to me, you do know that you're supposed to actually apply them with the zigzaggy bit facing down. And I was like, really? And she was like, yeah. So I gave it a go and it actually really holds a whole lot better than uh, putting it with the flat side facing down. So I was really impressed with that. I was like, thanks for that tip. So you might have a little bit of trouble sometimes getting the first pin to hold your ear down, but don't worry, just persevere and carry on popping clips in until you get that basic shape. And then again, just fanning that ear out. So it's more or less the same kind of density. And then getting some more clips and clip, clip, clip. So again, if you've got longer hair and you've got those strands, just really tuck those under and in because we are going for a really kind of, like I say, relaxed and messy look. 
I do like my teddy bear ears to look really messy and quite relaxed anyway because I think if you're going to have a really nice tidy do then go with a ballerina bun or go with a ponytail whereas teddy bear ears can be really nice and messy. So I've just about got the shape in place for my ears and I'm quite happy with those and I think that they match quite well but like I say you can really pull them into place as much as you like and just keep on pinning and you can really kind of keep that shape but you do get a really nice fanned ear shape I find with this way of doing it as well you get more of an ear kind of shape rather than that circular look so yeah it's just personal preference really so what I'm going to do now is just grab into my hair with my fingers and really loosen the hair up and then I'm going to grab some little bits if you want to make the style a little bit more messy then just grab some little pieces of hair from down by the ears and then I like to get the little pieces at the front and just pull them out again don't worry if you make any mess you can always pin that back in there and then just grab another piece at that side too so I've got some like little ant antennae going on there and just put that back in there with a pin so yeah I'm really happy with that style it's nice and easy so all I'm going to do now is give it a really good spray with some hairspray I'm using the Weller Silver King Classic in Maximum Hold number 5. So really spraying that on there. Now if you do want to go for a bit more of a glitzy look, I've seen a lot of people adding more hairspray down the part in and actually adding some glitter if you're wanting to make it into more of a going out look. Okay, so this is the finished teddy bear ear look. And I'm just going to do a little turn so you guys can see the back. So I really hope that you guys can have fun playing with this style because it is such a fun kind of style to do. And you can really mess around with the shape of your teddy bear ears as well. You can fan them right out or you can keep them quite small. It's totally up to you. Just have a play and see what suits your face shape best. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial today. If you have liked it, then please like down below. There's going to be a lot more videos coming on my channel really, really soon. I'm doing a complexion look and I'm also going to be doing this cut crease eyeshadow tutorial. So I hope you guys stay tuned. You can also follow me on my Instagram, which is lashes.lips.makeup.tips. So I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you soon. Mwah.